Okay, without the antenna, it starts to have trouble sometimes with signal. I'm still holding on the button. But as you can see, uh, it can go in and out, and how I have it oriented. We'll continue walking. I'm like a fairly long ways away, uh, probably about 120 feet. Okay, as you can see, sometimes even with the antenna, it actually has trouble getting signal. If I collapse the antenna, it actually is pretty much about the same. I only gotta take a couple of steps here and it starts getting signal. So the antenna out, you gain like five feet. I'm almost wondering if this antenna isn't hooked up. Cause uh, let me put the antenna back out. Cause sometimes it's even having trouble with the antenna in even at this range. Yeah. Oh, goes out like right there if I hold it like in that orientation. Actually goes out. Um, so as I move it, even at this range right here, it can actually... go out. So there's certain areas where it just doesn't transmit all that well. Let's see if I get in closer. There still is orientation to so where it can actually not transmit to it. Still, actually, even at this range right here, which is uh, probably 20 feet, it'll actually cut out sometimes. Still cutting out at times. Oh, at this range, it does not cut out. Oh, wait, it just cut out right there. Every once in a while, it does cut out. If I put it behind me, it seems to hold up okay. But every once in a while it does still cut out. At about 10 feet it no longer cuts out anymore. So since it didn't make much of a difference um, moving the antenna outward, um, I thought that I would take it apart and make sure that it's connected and I'd also like to see what is going on inside of here. Because why not? It's just gonna screw. Don't fall apart into a million pieces that I can't put back together. There we go. Oh, look, we got a 23A uh, battery in here. All right. Oh, look, it all just comes right out. Looks like there's a. LR1 um, 315 in here or something. Not exactly sure what that is. Slide this up the way. Make sure I got it right. Yeah. There's, a, there's a marker right here as well. Marking positive. So hopefully uh, that'll help me out a little bit. It appears. Can't tell what it's connected to. Oh, it looks like it's connected right here. Which then goes to that. You can see the little stud right there. So it does appear to be connected, but it doesn't really do much. It might be because it... It might be touching this. <laughs> um, it's really, really close to it. Let's see if I can get this maneuvered into a position so it can be seen. But uh, it's pretty much... Like that's touching it, not touching it, touching it, not touching it, touching it. So it's really right kind of there. That could actually ground out the antenna. 
So I'm going to grab some tape. Got a little bit of masking tape here. I'm gonna try and slide that. Looks like I can kind of just bend this a little bit. Not a big deal, right? Totally not a big deal. It's a bigger deal trying to do this on camera. Put that just like uh can't get it to move now. I guess that's good enough. Put that like that. I get that a little bit of squish down, and there we go. Okay, let's put it back together. Positive to the right spot. Yeah, that's right. Don't want to mess the polarity up. I don't think it was hitting, but just in case. Really would not want to find out that it actually was hitting. All it takes is that board just being in the wrong spot and it touches and you ain't doing the claimed 100 meters. It's more like 100 feet. It, and maybe they don't know the difference in China between 100 meters and 100 feet. Maybe that's what's going on. Or, you know, just regular false advertising. There, I'm glad to see that's still working. 